We see in this expansion in Parashas Balak that Bilam tried cursing the Jewish nation, but Hashem didn't let him. So he had to give brachas. He had to bless them. One of the statements he said was, that the Jewish nation is a beautiful nation. They have beautiful, clean homes, kosher homes. And they do everything good, everything fine. His attention was not to give them compliments. His attention was not to bless them. His attention was to ruin their spiritual life. And how is that? When he said that they're a beautiful, good nation, his attention was that the Yidin should feel good about themselves and feel that they did already enough in Yiddishkeit, feel that they are already accepted by Hashem the way they are and they don't have to work harder to be better. And like that, He will bring them down in Yiddishkeit. We see by the Jewish prophets all throughout history, they all gave compliments, but at the same time, he, they kept giving Musr, kept saying all the bad things we did, all the bad things we do. And that makes us grow. If we know we did something wrong, and we are told that we did something wrong, that will make us work harder to be better. But Bilam came and tried only complimenting them, and saying how good they are, that will make the Eden fall as deep as he wants them to fall. And he didn't have even have to give them a klala, because when a person falls, a Yiddishkeit, that's already a klala, that's already a curse. So when someone gives you Musa, someone tells you to fix yourself up, don't look at him as a mean person, look at him as a good person. He means you're good. But yes, you have to do it in a nice way, but you have to know how to accept Musa, how to accept when someone tells the negative about yourself and take it from there in a positive way and you'll grow so much more.